Hey, hey, it's Lee in Southern California. Hey, hey, welcome. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. How about you? Uh, much the same. Thanks. It's a nice day. It's a spring day here in North Idaho. Hooray. It was, uh, I went skiing last weekend. It was 19 degrees, and now we've got nice spring weather. So I wish I was in Florida, though. Uh, well, welcome, everybody. We're going to get started here in a couple of minutes. As you come on the line, we'd love to hear your name and where you're calling from. Just... Alan King, Seattle. Da, 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 da. What's up, Alan? Hey, it's all it's warm up here in northern Washington. Yay. <laughs> Hey, this is Jacksonville. Welcome, welcome. In Florida. Hey, Roger. Long time no talk. Billy Moreland here. We got a visit. Billy Moreland, Paul yeah, Robinson, Osborne, Idaho. Hey, Paul. How are you? Good. Great. I know you are. Hey, Andrew. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Good. I'll go on mute. Robert on um, Fleming Island, Florida. Hey, Ron. You made hey, it back from bike. Hey, you made it back from bike week, huh? Yeah, man. I'm back safe and sound. It was a great time, though. Yeah. Uh, kind of chilly, but it was good. Yeah, good. Glad, glad to, glad to hear you made it back. Okay, man. I appreciate that. All right. And if I could give a quick shout out, did Steve make it and did Lawrence make it? I'm here. Yes, I am here. All right. Well, guys, I think we're about ready according to my timepiece. I've got 6.01 Pacific Standard Time, and uh, I think it's about time we talk a little bit of leaf. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Muted. It's kind of a different format. Tonight, uh, although we are going to talk a little bit about the opportunity with leaf, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover that in a few minutes. We're going to more focus on the vision and the long-term prospects, talk about the technology, talk about compensation plan, uh, compliance issues, and just just to help you, our associates, our valued associates, gain a little bit more vision as to what LEAF International is all about and where we're going. Uh, so, if, if Steve, if you could put it on mute or presenter mode, that'd be great, and we'll dive Already right Already done, it. Billy. Okay, buddy. Thanks, Steve. Awesome. We got a good turnout tonight. Uh, we've got representation from from uh, state to state. I heard some Midwest stuff in there. Florida's in the house, that's for sure. California, Idaho is absolutely in the house, and uh, you, uh, Lawrence, will see that this weekend in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, where we do a live presentation. So I heard I heard Australia, and uh, I tell you what, I'm I'm just downright excited. Uh, my name is Billy Moreland. Uh, I, uh, I'm a global sales director for Leaf International, and I'm tickled to be here. Uh, thanks for allowing me to present to you a little bit. Uh, in a nutshell, what we're gonna what we're gonna be covering tonight uh, is Leaf International, an opportunity for you, a prospective associate or a, a registered associate, to take advantage of what I think is going to be just an awesome trend, an awesome platform to make some significant money in one of the, the largest spaces there is on the Internet, and that is Internet advertising. We've all heard of companies like Yahoo and Facebook and, of course, the granddaddy Google, and those companies are, are throwing up big numbers in terms of annual sales. You know, those three companies combined last year did over $50 billion in revenue through online advertising. And uh, Leaf International is poised to grab some market share. But the coolest thing about uh, Leaf International and what they're doing is they are going to be allowing you, the associates, the independent associates, to build a business uh, within the, the Leaf family and create income uh, and lifestyle if you choose to do that. So we're going to take we're going to take uh, the next half hour, 40 minutes, of heck, as long as it takes. And we're going to hear from a couple of the co-founders of the company, uh, uh, Lawrence Soule and Steve Hyman, uh, the c creators and visionaries and, and really the guys at the helm steering the ship. Uh, you know, but first I'm going to kind of give you a couple of minutes of, 
what what I see in Leaf International, Billy Moreland. I've I've been a financial planner for 30 year, years. I've been a network marketer for 20 plus years. I've had some failures, and I've certainly had some triumphs. I've built teams of thousands and thousands and thousands of associates, and like I said, I've had some failures. You know, when you when you choose to hang your hat with a company. Uh, there's some things that you should look for. You should look for, you know, things like, is, is it a growing marketplace? Is it a simple uh, build? Is it, is, it, is it exciting? Are the people at corporate fun? Are they, are they trustworthy? Are they real? Is there high integrity? And, uh, you know, through all of the years that I've been involved in, in network marketing and had some of those opportunities where it was a, you know, fake it till you make it or a grind it out type of compensation plan, uh, there's a new generation, a, a new era in compensation structures, and we call it revenue sharing. Uh, Leaf International has embraced uh, their version of revenue sharing. We call it an advertising rebate, and we're super excited uh, to, to have that as part of our compensation structure. Um, but again, we've got such a such a wide open space in online advertising. Uh, in addition, we're going to be hearing from Lawrence and Steve about uh, the social network that is being built as we speak, and how that's going to play into the, the massive growth of Leaf International. Uh, so, folks, thanks for coming to the call. We're going to dive right into the Leaf Corporate Vision call, and the first person I'm going to introduce uh, is Lawrence Soul. Uh, Lawrence, are you there, buddy? I'm here, Billy. Thanks a lot. Great. Now, I want to tell you, before he gets into the information, Lawrence has been burning the midnight oil working with our programmers and uh, all of the various vendors to uh, to open the doors and, and get this opportunity ready to, to start churning. Uh, I know he was up all night last night, but hopefully he got a little beauty sleep. But I'll tell you what, uh, since the, the moment I talked to Lawrence, and I vividly remember that first discussion, I was on vacation with my family in Hawaii, and he just laid it out. I, I had heard about Leaf International. I didn't quite get it, but after spending 15 minutes on the phone with Lawrence, I got it. I, I grasped his vision. I, I, I felt his passion. And, uh, you know, he is uh, one of the creators of the platform and really has long-term vision for, for Leaf International. So, you know, what I'd like to do, Lawrence, is, and Steve, is, is I'd like to ask you a series of questions. And I think we should probably start with maybe talk a little bit about the history of LEAF and, you know, what is, uh, you know, the background of, of LEAF, Lawrence, and, and where did the concept come from? All right, Billy, thanks a lot. And everybody, thanks for making it to the call tonight. Um, well, it's an interesting story, Billy. Um, you know, back uh, last year when Facebook did their IPO, and their IPO was a pretty much a, a big failure. Um, I remember I'd written a blog on it, and I was trying to think of how Facebook could monetize their their user space a little better, and how they could make more money because they had the the most users in the world of any website. So, um, out of that, I was just driving down the freeway, and I remember uh, coming up with this idea. And I turned to my girlfriend and I said, "Leaf," and she just looked at me, uh, you know, with one eyebrow raised, like, "What?" And I I said, "Leaf," a little more excited. And she goes, what's that? And I go, I'll explain it later. And I was so excited about that concept that I called Steve on the phone. Now, now the crazy part about it is, is that that concept isn't what we're doing right now. It may play a role later. But right now what we're doing, all we're using is the name Leaf. When I told Steve about it, uh, Steve said, we got to tell the guys about it. we got to tell our partners about it. We were in business at the time with a bunch of people uh, working in different industries from marketing to MLM. So what we did was is we, we got together. We got on the phone with some of the other guys on the team, and Steve's going to tell you about them, I'm sure, later on the call here. And uh, we just kind of presented the concept and, and overall what LEAF meant. And, and what LEAF means is plays a lot of value in this because a LEAF represents life. It represents an eco-friendly environment. It's the direction that the, the whole world's going. Um, it also represents a network because leaves are bunched up together. They're, they're branched together through other branches and, and connected. So keep this the same way that people are connected. So from a, a metaphor, uh, you know, LEAF was the perfect name for a social network for, for just about anything that you want to do with the brand. It, it was just a perfect name. It's never been used on a big brand before. So we were really, really excited. And, and really, Billy, really, that's kind of how, how it started. Now, the, the first concept of what LEAF was was a search engine concept. 
It was just a better way to give results on search queries, and that's how it first started. Um, of course, uh, the idea was to take it to Facebook and to uh, pitch it to Facebook and see if they wanted to, to uh, buy it or give a royalty on it. But then, of course, after talking with uh, Steve and, and some of the other partners, um, we quickly changed our mind and decided to, to grab the bull by the horns and do it ourselves. So um, that's kind of uh, just a background, Billy, on you know where the name come from, how it, it transpired, and uh, you know a little bit about where we're going. That's awesome. I I, I get it, and uh, you know the eco friendly part is uh, that that's that's a good good direction. Um, I want to I want to kind of ask you guys about the backgrounds of the corporate team. Um, you know, it's my understanding that uh, you know, of course, we've got you and we've got Steve Hyman and and several others, uh, ranging from uh, well, maybe maybe Steve, you can kind of share that. But I know you know the technology people involved, and of course, some some serious people that come from the network marketing arena. Uh, Steve, can you kind of address what the backgrounds are and talk a little bit about the corporate team? So, everyone, yeah. it's my pleasure to be with you tonight. Thanks, thanks, Billy. It's uh, it's great to be here. You've been uh, fantastic to work with, and uh, and we're just really excited. So, you know, uh, Lawrence mentioned uh, some of the aspects of, of Leaf and how excited we were when, when uh, he first introduced uh, the name and, and kind of the original concept to us. And, and uh, really, it has such a broad sc- spectrum and such a, a long-term view of what we're trying to accomplish, that was part of the catalyzing uh, energy and the, the force that really, I think, coalesced and, and brought the, the, the team together that we have right now. Lawrence mentioned that, you know, we already had a, a few p- people in place, and, and of course, we've uh, included them. And uh, But really, the, the, the core of what uh, we're doing is the vision is so large that that we recognize we need to have a, a very diverse, a very strong uh, team that covers a lot of bases. Now, you probably experienced this, uh, and unfortunately, I'm sure a number of our listeners have too. There have been so many MLMs out there that have started, and they didn't have the type of experience that was needed to really run a company in the correct way for a long term. And unfortunately, we've all been part of, uh, in some way, uh, some of those failures. And so... When we were developing our team, we really uh, attracted, I think, I'd say we're fortunate, but it was also intentional, uh, a very diverse group of people we've got. Uh, and we're very careful about who we, we've brought on, on board and, and, you know, the credentials of those people and their experience have been critical. Uh, just real, real briefly, I'll just cover some of the uh, areas that uh, we've, we've done that with. Uh, you know, from a legal perspective, we've brought on, uh, I think, one of the top people in the uh, country with in- network marketing, uh, Jerry Nera. Uh, he's our, our main attorney and consultant for uh, all legal matters. Um, we've got on the executive team, we've got a number of people that uh, have corporate experience with Fortune 1000 companies. Uh, we've got uh, on our marketing team, we've got a handful of people with extensive experience in network marketing and MLMs. Uh, Lawrence and myself and a number of other players have uh, Great experience for many, many years running small businesses and, and uh, you know operating small businesses, being business owners. Uh, we've got uh, some fantastic programmers. Uh, you know, we, we've really made sure we've covered all the bases because if you don't do that, you know, the long term, the longevity of what we're doing is is uh, is not going to be there, and, and that's that's really paramount to uh, our approach. Awesome, and that's been my experience, you know, as I've been walking down this path with you guys, and it hasn't been that long. I really, you know, got got it back in December and decided to really engage shortly thereafter. But uh, that's what I'm finding as well. Um, great. Hey, I tell you, I'd like to I'd like to move into a different direction and talk a little bit about the product and the various products that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, you know, so maybe uh, I'd like to address this question to to Lawrence. And, you know, Lawrence, um, what I'd like to ask you is, you know, in our, in our flagship product, the, the social web optimizer or, or what we call the SWO, us associates need to do an activity where we view 20 websites for 20 seconds and provide star ratings and feedback to the website owners. Can you maybe address 
Um, I've, been, I've been asked several times, you know, why do we view 20 sites versus less than 20 sites? And, and, and you know, some some folks think it's tedious. Others have no problem with it. But can you address that and maybe what uh, some of these companies out there that, that supposedly are our competition are doing? Sure. And, you know, to answer that question, really the idea, Billy, is to have people look at more look at more than 20 sites. To, to have them looking at sites because they want to, looking at sites because they're shopping for something, looking at sites because they find them interesting or attractive or they want to share them because they want to help an organization or they want to help their friend promote a business. So the, the idea with 20 sites is, you know, for, for a few reasons. Number one, you know, it really helps the Alexa rankings to have more page views and to have more time spent on the site by, by more viewers. So that's one of the reasons. Now, to have a website viewed, it doesn't do somebody or business any good if they don't have any interactions with the website. The whole point of building a website is to have interactions. So, you know, people out there these days, they spend money on building their website, and then it's sitting there. And then they have to figure out how to get traffic to it. And the traffic they do get to it, they don't know what kind of interactions they're getting from that traffic. So, you know, that's the point of this, doing the star ratings, doing advanced reviews, and that's why there's other options there like Grow It you know, basically where people can grow and follow a site and, and share that site with others so it can go viral. And then comment on a site whether you want to talk about the product, whether you're looking at uh, a winery, for example, and you see that they're having a, a deal on a, a three-day stay at, at a winery. So, you know, the idea is to target market that. So the, the 20 views, the three-star ratings, you know, the, the things that associates will do every day, it's 20 to 30 minutes. And, and the reward that they're going to get for giving those honest interactions and, and hopefully – actually converting and, and thinking of LEAF when they do their shopping is going to be what makes our product, uh, especially the SWO, the Social Web Optimizer product, a long-term product. And, and every day we're working to you know, reinvent that product and bring it out into new concepts and bring new features to it. I know for a fact that our programmers have been working hard on a search uh, for it, and we're going to be able to be searching the SWO pretty soon once there's enough sites in that database so that when people are looking at their 20 sites, they can actually do a search and look at stuff that they want to look at. So really, um, at the end of the day, the, the 20 sites, the, the half an hour, I mean, we could, we could say more if we wanted to. But it, it's really to get, you know, the Alexa rankings up, um, to get enough traffic used, because that's, that's another thing. You have advertisers and distributors, and they're advertising their businesses. And they need to spend advertising dollars so that they can accrue advertising rebate value. So in order to do that, they, it has to be cycled. If you were doing 12 views versus 20, then you're only going to cycle three-fifths of the advertising. And unlike other companies, what we're making sure is all the products used. Now, in other network marketing companies in the past, people have been able to just give away the product or here, try the product or, or what have you, but it hasn't had the cycle. The product didn't have to be used. And part of the sustainability of a company is, you know, wh why would somebody buy a product if they're not going to use it? So we're ensuring that everybody uses the product. If they're going to buy advertising, they're going to allocate that advertising in order to get a value for it, and, and this product has to cycle. So it, it's a mixture of the interactions, uh, the Alexa rankings, and also getting you know, more advertising spent for the distributors as well. It's kind of a mixture of all those. But really, I think in a couple of months that people are going to enjoy themselves so much that people will find themselves going past 20 sites. They might end up looking at 25. They might spend you know, two, three hours uh, in one day there. We already have free customers that are coming in looking at sites just out of curiosity that aren't even part of the distributor portal. So to me, the product's already standing up, and it's already showing what it's going to do because we have hundreds of people who've already went in there, and they're doing views every day, and I see it in our analytics. So I know the product's going to stand up. Awesome, and I'll tell you what, the look and feel and the professionalism, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. You know, some of the, some of the other, uh, I'm not even going to call them competitors because I don't believe those, those competitors, if you will, are going to be around for too much longer, but they're just cluttered with this home base opportunity, my deal, this MLM, that deal, versus what LEAF, in my opinion, is really building is a complete cross-section of all sorts of different businesses, traditional businesses out there. And so far in the last week since we opened up, uh, from what it appears from my perspective, since we opened up the Social Web Optimizer, it's, it's materializing beautifully. There's some great, great business advertisers on there. 
Um, moving moving on here, uh, and, and I'm going to stick with Lawrence. Uh, you know, one of the comments and one of the things I'd like to ask is, you know, how how do you see these products? And this might dovetail into your last answer. How do you see these products? You know, acting as stand alone without the MLM opportunity, and then maybe you can talk a little bit about you know the buzz out there about the Leaf Social Network. Sure, Billy. Um, you know, just to touch a little bit off of what I just finished up with there, um, you know, we talked about the 20 views. We talked about why the 20 views, and I explained that the idea is to have those people, you know, actually want to do more than 20 views. So it's really important that that we have a good product that stands up on its own. Now, the the way that we're building this with the social network is is a different way of connecting. So if you think about um, Facebook, for example, you've you become friends with somebody. Um, on Leaf, what you're going to do is is you're going to branch out to somebody. Okay, and and the way that you branch out to somebody will be based on an interest, or it will be based on a business. Um, let's say hiking. We'll use hiking as an example here. Um, on your hiking branch, you're connected to other people that hike. However, you're not going to see all the things that they say about everything else. You're only going to see what they have to say about hiking. So the way that we're setting up the connection type is to give it a, a more friendly approach so that people aren't, aren't looking at their stream on their news feed and just it's a, it's a gobble of um, information that they don't want. They can look at different branches and, and more um, itemize or streamline the information that they want to receive. Um, and that's, that play is very important into the SWO or the social web optimizer because the social web optimizer is then going to become an advertising network or part of the advertising portal for the people who are advertising in the social network. Um, let's say I go to Billy Moreland's uh, profile page on Leaf. And on Billy Moreland's profile page, I'll see view Billy's site in the SWO. So just like on Facebook, how I would go to somebody's page, on yours, Billy, I'm actually going to go to your site. I'm going to get to go to your website. So it's bringing the people's businesses into the social network through the SWO, connected to the social platform that uh, connects people in a more granular perspective to give people more information on what they want and, and to give them um, you know, a, a better voice. I know for a fact that one of our programmers, um, Ben is his name. He's a, he's a true prodigy. The kid is, is amazing at what he's been able to do so far. He said what he liked about it so much, um, Billy. He said that I'll actually do a status update. He goes, currently I'm, I'm on Facebook, but I don't do them because I may want to say something, but I don't want this person to hear it, or I don't want that person to hear it, or maybe I just want to talk about my music, or maybe I just want to talk about an algorithm. And he goes, what I like about what we're building at least is that I'll now be able to simply categorize those posts to the people that I want to see it. And I know that those people, if they're connected to me on that branch, are going to want to see it as well. So that's what really intrigued me. Now, when, when we first started with Ben, and I just want to go into that just for one second, Billy, and then I'll, I'll give it back to you. When we first started with Ben, I, I could tell he was a great prodigy child, great kid, um, wholesome, had great values. I wanted to ask him a serious question. I said, Ben, what is it going to take for you to be with this company for the long term? You know, so that you're here for a long time. And he had a real simple answer. He said, "If I think the product's cool and I like to use it, then then I'll, I'm here for the long term." And I know that sounds simple, everybody, but user experience and user interface is today. There's a lot of social networks out there. Facebook is the king because Facebook figured out user interface. They figured out how to make it easiest for people to get news information, get friend requests, see the things that people want to see, and they brought it to you in a way that you weren't distracted. You were able to focus on the content they wanted you to focus on. And that's where the user experience comes in. And for a product to stand up in long term in the digital age online, the most important thing is the user experience, is the interface in which people interact and the options that people have. And so, you know, Billy, just to give you an idea, that's what what we're creating here at LEAF is we're focused on the user interface. We're focused on the end user's experience. Our focus is on John Smith who has a 9 to 5 job and he just wants to come home and post a couple pictures. If we can get him to use it or we can get you know, uh, Jane from the tire shop to advertise your tires you know, as an advertiser because it's geographically targeted to her location, to the people in her area. And if we can bring that, which is our goal, with a simple to use interface, 
then it's a product that stands up without a network marketing strategy because the end user wants it. So, you know, Billy, to answer the question, we're focused on the end user because if the end user likes it, the end user wants it, then everybody else is the end user. Everybody is the end user, whether distributor, business, or just a person with a 9 to 5 that has no, no interest in, in promoting a business or an opportunity and, and they just want to go on there and look at some pictures and, and talk about uh, you know, their trip the last weekend. So really that's our focus is the end user, Billy. Well, and that's so exciting to me too because you know, let's face it, it's us associates who have the business opportunity, and if we've got hundreds of thousands or eventually millions of end users who are going to be using our product, we're going to be the beneficiaries of all that growth and volume, and, and it's just going to be exciting as heck. So that, that's awesome. I love hearing that. Um, uh, I want to switch gears a little bit, and, and this is kind of directed towards Steve Hyman. Um, you know, we've got a very exciting uh, revenue share type concept. We call it a advertising rebate. And in our compensation plan, depending on rank, uh, you know, Leaf in the comp plan talks about paying, you know, uh, up to 4% per day at the senior executive level. And to a lot of people, when they, when they try to grasp that, it just seems unbelievable. So, Steve, this is kind of directed towards, uh, you know, compensation plan, sustainability, and specifically, uh, if you could address compliance. It seems that compliance is of utmost importance to LEAF International. Steve? Yeah, thanks, Billy. Well, it is. You'd mentioned a word earlier in uh, the call about integrity, and I think it really it boils down to integrity. When you go into business, if you don't do your due diligence, if you don't research uh, the environment that you're working in, if you don't uh, make sure that you've completed the, the legal documents, if you don't you know, uh, have good legal advice, good financial, fiscal management, uh, you're, gonna, you're not going to be in business for long. And really, that's the, the, the core of uh, the longevity of the vision of, of what we're creating is that we want to be around for 20 years. And so a key element in that is that ensuring that our distributors who represent the company as well as their own personal businesses uh, understand and follow some very key uh, elements in, in how to promote the business. Well, I'm going to touch on a couple of those tonight, but I, I want everyone to understand the reason why we have these in place. Um, you know, w without, uh, without those elements, we're, we're, we're basically at risk. Unfortunately, in this industry, there's a lot of focus by uh, federal regulators on, on how we uh, explain things, how we present things, and so there's very clear guidelines that we, we have to follow. So let me just touch on a couple that I think that are the most key ones. So anytime that you're explaining or talking about the compensation plan, you're talking about uh, a lifestyle change, you're talking about the new car that you got or uh, your ability to take your family on a vacation finally, those are all elements about how much money you can make. And whenever you're doing that, you, you have to mention what's called an income disclosure statement. And this is probably one of the key elements to, uh, to making sure that we're compliant out in the field. Uh, and what, essentially what that does, and you probably most of you are familiar with it, but we're really keen on making sure that every distributor always pays attention to this detail. It's essentially saying that uh, LEAF, as a company, does not guarantee any specific level of income, any level at all, for any distributor. That that's solely based on the work ethic that they bring to the table, the amount of work that they do, the market environment that they're in. Um, you know, it, it's based on, uh, as Lawrence talked about, it's product driven. We want people to understand the, the product, and if you're not out there really promoting the product and, and using the product, uh, then we're just selling opportunity, and opportunity by itself is uh, a sure invitation to the federal regulators to, to come in and, and close us down. So we have to be very, very careful when we're out in the field uh, to make sure we mention that. Um, the other element that I think is, is really critical is uh, we do have a compliance department. We've got some great people in there. Their job is to assist educating our distributors on, on what's appropriate and what's not. Now, some of you have probably gotten some letters from them, uh, and, you know, that's part of, of uh, being a distributor, and it's part of our job to help, I don't want to say police, but to help uh, be watchdogs out on the field. 
Now, what what I'd like to encourage everyone to do is, you know, we all want to feel like we're masters of our own business, and, uh, you know, behind the ship, and so that inspires people to create their own marketing materials. And we want that. We want that invention. We want that creativity, that the passion, uh, the excitement of, of owning your own business. That's that's integral for our distributors to to be out and represent us in a way that is positive and everything. But what I would ask everyone to do is. When you create a video, when you create a, a piece of material, do one thing. Simply send it to compliance at vleaf.com before you share it with anyone. That gives the, us uh, here at corporate a chance to take a look at it, make sure that what you're saying, how you're saying it, uh, all those things are, are compliant with our, our policies and procedures and aren't going to get either you or us in trouble. Uh, I would really strongly encourage everyone to take the time, and I know it's a, a big document. There's a lot of wordy language in there, uh, but take the time to, to skim through the policies and procedures. Now, we're going to be coming up with a, a, a summary and additional uh, training materials that will help you understand those things, but uh, it's important to, to uh, do your due diligence as a business owner and understand fully what it is that you're uh, getting into. Uh, there's one other key aspect that I'd like to address, uh, Billy, uh, uh, about this, which I, I think also comes down to integrity. And I just want everyone to understand that um, we're not a company that is looking out just for ourselves. We're trying to grow community. We're trying to grow uh, people's lives. And that means that part of what we've done with our policies, uh, everyone, is we've really taken the time to, to craft it in such a way that you as business owners – are also protected. So when you read this document, you're going to find things in there about um, if you get called up for military service, if you have a natural disaster in your area, um, we're going to be able to offer you some protection about you know if your business, if you have to go into a, a period of dormancy, I'll say, with your business, we're not going to penalize you for that. Uh, your business is sellable. If you decide that. Uh, you know, it's time to retire or you want to hand it over to your son or your daughter or your nephew or your friend that you can either grant or sell your business. It's yours. Uh, so there, there's a whole, a whole handful of elements that are drafted into the uh, that I think are very important and close to my heart uh, with previous experiences I've had in the MLM industry about protecting distributors and, and their rights. We know that you guys – are putting a lot of time and a lot of energy in your hearts and, and your money into play here, and we respect that and we want it to be uh, protected. So uh, I think that's the key points that I wanted to uh, uh, share with you, Billy, and I, I appreciate you asking that question. Awesome, Steve. That's great. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. And I think uh, I think uh, one other area I'd like to talk about, or at least hear from either Steve or Lawrence, is you know what is what is the expectation here from the field? You know what can we expect from corporate? You know let's go out a you know a couple of weeks, let's go out a couple of months, and then maybe address. You know what can we expect over the next 12 to 24 months with, uh, you know expected growth and or product offering or, or you know uh, reach etc. So uh, whoever wants to address that, I I'd love to hear that. All right, uh, Lawrence here. I'll I'll answer that one, Billy. Well, right now we're we're literally we're right around the corner from turning on the first stages here of the earnings. Um, basically, the the programming for the rankings, uh, you know, the manager, executive, so on, um, all that's in place. Uh, the commission's in place. We've been doing some testing on that. So we're just right around the corner from the uh, advertising commissions coming out, the sales commissions, and also the uh, daily advertising rebate. So. Um, we'll, we will be making announcements on that hopefully, hopefully very, 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 very soon here. Now, um, to, what to expect over the next couple of weeks is there will be enhancements on the SWO. Um, as I stated, search is going to be coming into it. Um, you'll also see notifications come into it so that when you receive uh, an advanced review or a star rating or, or an interaction, um, you know, the, the user will receive a uh, notification, similar to like they do on other social networks when they have a notification. And um, we've also been building on the social platform, and we're expecting over the next couple of months to be rolling that out. Um, profiles, which the profiles may come out sooner than the stream, 
Um, but then, you know, the profiles and the stream and, and then the ways people connect through branches as stated. And then, you know, as we're rolling that out, we're going to get into the shopping part of it. And, and the shopping part of it is, is stores, is um, let's say the, the web builder, for example, uh, a way that people can come in and if they don't have a website, they can build a website, a website that's going to be hosted on Leaf, a website that they can host, and, and if they have products, a way that they can get their products in through our into our database, into, into our SWO, um, into the entire social network. So once it's in that database, it can be found through searches on the search engines um, through, that, that directs people to that person's business in LEAF. Now, I explained the search concept that was involved with uh, the SWO at this time. That will also play a role into the web builder and the, the e-commerce as that part of the system is rolled out. Now, what, what I just mentioned right there is about a, a three to six month plan. Um, you know, with everything that we're rolling out, the SWO, the social network, those items will always be improved. We'll always add features and we'll always be improving the interface of each and every item. So when, when we have the SWO complete, it's never complete. It keeps advancing. When we roll up the social network, it's not complete. It keeps advancing. So what we're doing is just constant creation. At this day and age, in order to stay on top of technology, in order to stay ahead of the others, you have to keep improving. You can't simply just say, well, I built it and it's done. If you could do that, then car dealers or, or, or you know, car manufacturers would build a, a, a car and they never have to build a new one. But they're always having to build new cars because they're always having to stay with today's uh, modern age. So um, that's what we plan on doing over the course of the next uh, few months. Now, our, our goal over the next year, uh, year to, to two years, is to have everything in, in full motion, uh, millions of end users, and also to be bringing out uh, you know, stuff like the phone application so that people can do everything on LEAF through their phone as well. Um, especially on the social side of it. So just to give you an idea, Billy, it, it's those things. And when, and when we talk about the shopping, uh, when we talk about that, um, it, it goes granular in a sense of, of people being able to put stuff up for auction, uh, people being able to put stuff up for trade, being able to put services up in a classified area. So that when people go to the shopping branch, at least through the social network, um, they can search that branch based on what kind of shopping they want to do. They can granulate it to their local area or to the product demographic that they're looking for. So, you know, the vision is to just keep improving the product and to keep making it more granular so that it's more targeted so that the end user is getting what they want from LEAF. And uh, I guess that's a pretty good scope on, on where we're going and, and where we plan on heading uh, with the products into the future. And there's, there's awesome. many more ideas, Billy, that we have, and uh, we're just not announcing at this time um, because we have to see how these other things go before we can uh, announce any of our other features or products, but there's, there's tons of them. Uh, you right. stole by my thunder, Lawrence. I was going to say, you know, uh, it's so exciting what we've got, and, and what we're sharing right now is just literally the tip of the iceberg. We've got some amazing other products and, and uh, plans that are going to be uh, unveiled in the coming six months to year or so. So we're, we're, we're so excited. It's just uh, it's, uh, great to share what we have with you right now, though. Yes, and what that, and what, that tells, what that tells me from the distributor side of the fence the associate side of the fence is is user base grows and value grows and more and more advertisers enter the network to get to that user base. That just creates more and more revenue for us, the distributors. So, yeah, this is going to be great. Um, absolutely, I just had to throw absolutely. That in there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> um, and you know, you know, really, what we're creating, everyone here, is we're creating two companies that are one. We're a network marketing company, but we're also a technology company. And the existence of those two together has never, never really came out. Usually it's, it's, just a, it's just a one ship that's going one direction and it's geared towards distributors. And that's how a lot of the companies are these days. Um, our focus is the, the dot-com, the product, is focused on the end user. It's a technology product. We'll keep advancing that product. On the dot biz side, we'll keep advancing our back office and our tools and our marketing and our customer support to help the distributors to help us sell that product. So you could call us a technology company with a network marketing strategy or a network marketing company with you know, great end user products. 
So I just want to throw that in there, Billy. I love it. Well, I'll tell you what, we're excited. Uh, guys, uh, I'm gonna, it's been 40 minutes now. We're going to kind of come to a head here. Um, I want to say thanks for everything you're doing. This was very valuable. I'm glad we recorded it. This will be available to go back and listen to. Uh, for those of you who are hearing about Lee for the first time, don't hesitate. Just get back to the person who invited you here and get, get in the business, get involved. Those of you who are still kicking the tires, who have entered the system, I highly recommend you engage. Uh, you know, the early bird gets the worm. Uh, it's, grand, it's a huge market out there. But those of us who are choosing to build right now and share are going to grab some of that market share. Um, I'll also say that tomorrow, <clears throat> Wednesday at noon Pacific, uh, we'll be doing a business opportunity webinar. Uh, same dial in, and you can access the screen share URL from the person who invited you to this call, or it'll be on the calendar in your back office. And uh, we have an opportunity call on Thursday night as well. So, folks, we're right around the corner. We're, we're, we're getting ready to, as Lauren said, turn everything on, the earnings and uh, the, the advertising rebate. And I just want to say thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, Steve Hyman, <clears throat> Lauren Soule, thanks so much for what you're doing. We're excited uh, about everything and uh, can't wait to get this baby uh, uh, producing. So with mm -hmm. that, I'm going to say good night, everybody, and uh, we really look forward to working with you. Thanks, right. everyone. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night.